What's up guys? It is Sean, aka High Roller 1969. Today is Sunday. The day of rest, says the good Lord. Say God created heaven and earth within seven days. On Sunday was a rest day. Take your Sundays off. So anyways, I decided today that I was going to go out and I'm going to do some filming and I'm going to get back in touch with my creative inspired side and I'm going to take some beautiful photos. It is the fall in the Adirondack Mountains. So come on guys, it is the perfect time to do this. Except for one thing, it's raining out, but then it gets sunny out and then it gets foggy and then the mist comes through and the mist is just awesome. It is absolutely beautiful. So, you guys remember Jerome the Drone? Uh, I had Jerome 1, which ended up in a tree, upside down, overnight. But my stepfather found him uh, the very next day. Thank God for him. Thank you so much, John Allen. You're the shit. Um, I said to anybody, if anybody can find my drone, I would give them a hundred dollar reward. So my stepfather, naturally, fucking guy, goes out, he's running around, he's running around, trying to find this goddamn thing. Finally, he finds it. And he was not there when I crashed it. All I did was tell him in a general direction whereabouts I was. And there was a few people looking for me at that time. So Johnny Boy found it. And to be honest with you, I feel kind of bad because I never paid him his $100. <laughs> I will pay him his $100 one of these days. But just, I like to hold him off. And I really love pissing him off. It is just so much fun. Phone call. Okay, so anyways. We have a weather system that's been moving in and out all day. As you can see right now, it's beautiful and sunny. It is just gorgeous. It's, I don't know what the hell today's date is, October something, and it's 70 degrees. Actually, it's over 70. You know what, let me just check my phone here real quick while I'm driving, because that's the safe thing to do, right? 75 degrees out, and October 8th. It's supposed to be like 60s, give or take. Um, maybe in the 50s would be really nice for October. But anyways, guys, it is just absolutely beautiful out today. Uh, you know what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to... This section of the road right here is really nice. Uh, I, I like just driving around even. Just driving is beautiful. So I will take video today. I'm going to hopefully uh, do some drone footage because I do have another drone. Um, this would be my third drone now. The second drone had a wiring malfunction uh, within the gimbal to the camera. So if anybody has any broken drones or any broken drone parts that are DJI Phantom 2s, please hit me up. I will buy them bitches off of you to get my, uh, my drones fixed. If I had one good used piece of shit drone uh, that was a Phantom 2, I could put both of my Phantom 2s back together and it'd be awesome. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna flip you guys around so you guys can enjoy this beautiful ride. <laughs>
When I was a kid, I used to come down this trail. It's up around where my mom lives. And this trail was awesome because we used to ride our sleds down here. And it was like a bobsled, like a bobsled trail. I can get some focus here. Better. Okay. So this used to be like a bobsled trail to us. We used to come down here so fast with sleds. Like if we crashed, we probably would have busted our necks and broke our shit. But I decided to walk down here because I seen the way that the sun was just kind of like beaming through the trees through here. I mean, look at this lighting. It is fantastic. And to top it off, I'm not filming with my normal Sony, which you guys see me bitch about many times before. Uh, I have the Sony RX100 M3 version. Now they have like the M5, which is fantastic, but I'm not going to spend another thousand dollars on a Sony. So my next camera is probably going to be the Canon. Uh, the GSX or GXR, I don't know, something. But anyways, if you guys look at the way that the sun's coming through the trees here, and you guys can see the shadows and then the highlights and the different spots there, this is kind of like the caption that I'm going for. And I really, really wish that I had a model here today because here we are in October. How badass and how cool, guys, would it have been to stick Little Red Riding Hood like right there? Just Little Red Riding Hood, just creeping through the trail, la, 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 la. But I would have done it different, like I would have done it right, because you see the sun is right here. All right, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me, there we go. Okay, so now you guys see the position of the sun. As that sun's coming through the trees, okay, I can go like in the light room, uh, which is a photo editor. I could go in the light room and I can like make it look like the rays of the sun are coming down. So you know what, I'm going to take some pictures here for a minute. And uh, I'm going to try to see if I can get the sun actually through the trees because there's an effect that I've been wanting to do, but we just haven't had the sunlight lately. So I'm going to take some pictures here for a minute. I'm going to show you guys what I'm working with. Give me a hug. Too skinny for me, John. Who? You. I'm too skinny for you? Skinnier than John. What size pants you take? 36. No, John still got your feet. What size you wear, Sean? 32. Son of a bitch, I'm not that far from behind you. This is what Nick's working with. This is what I hooked him up with. Two amp, or two subs. They're only eight. But the thing is, is the way that this box fits, the acoustics on it are just in freaking incredible. Because look, you got this nice airspace right here. And even though the speakers are not very large, you still got this airspace. So you got tons of acoustics running through there. And this shit pounds. Like, these two 8s seriously sound like two 12s. I'm pretty proud of that little install. If you ever need anything installed nicely, professionally, like that, give me a jingle on the jangle. Sean, high roller customs, baby. You guys remember when I said about my stepfather and my drone and a reward? John, what was your reward? Don't have it. You stole me 130 bucks. When are you going to get it? Never. Would you guys like to go for a quick fly? I'm going to go for a quick fly. How's that sound? Not sure where. We could do Lake Luzerne, or we could do the rivers. But the rivers are really, really low right now. And the other thing that's really hard, too, is this weather. It's, it's so spotty. It's in and out. Right now I'm using a different lens. That's why I look like I'm so up in your face right now. So I gotta be a little bit back more, but then I gotta yell a little bit louder to get over the wind. But anyways, guys, stay tuned because flight video started now.
switch cars. It's pretty windy up here, or else I would take the drone and just send it right off of here. Check this out. Tell me if this shit is just not beautiful, huh, guys? So much badass. I always get a lot of people that come to here on bikes, but if you come to here with a bike and you come too hard, you can pretty much lay it right down this whole corner and just drag me like the whole way. It's pretty freaking awesome. The bike ride is really nice. Not that I would know. I don't want to go on bikes or anything myself, but got a little bit of zoom in action for you. There you go, guys. What we're rocking right now. We are rocking the uh, training day hoopty, I call it. I love this car though. Had to pull over anyways, let her cool down a little bit. That's the training day hoopty, guys. And I got my camera bag over here. You guys can see what's up with that. This right here is my Sony camera. Here, let me switch you guys to auto. There we go. This right here is my Sony camera in there. It's uh, kind of sucky. Well, actually, it's really not sucky. It's actually a very good camera, but just not a fan of it. Then I have all sorts of different lenses and filters and everything else. And then in here, it's my uh, Jerome 3 in here and a tripod this car is a little bit of a mess but it's racing I have no problem driving this thing I'll drive it fucking anywhere so I decided to take you guys to Lake George where I do a little bit of flying around checking out some of the hot spots well I was gonna do Saratoga but I threw on Facebook I don't know if some of you guys saw or not I threw on Facebook where I said you guys have the option Lake George or Saratoga and naturally everybody said Lake George so I'm in Lake George gonna get my fly on say hi to the many people in the mini haha -ha. Hi people out of the mini haha. -ha. Uh, I'm going to find a good place to park and a good place to take off. I'm probably just gonna go right here in the park. You know, I see like all these people, they're all taking pictures of each other. Yeah, they're, everybody's all happy and shit, you know. Good for them. Really good for them. I'm just out, you know, driving around the country right now, just cranking some tunes, hanging out. What happens if I go this direction? What's that? Oh, there's some kind of parking ahead. I don't know. Okay, no. No parking anytime on that side of the road. Okay, well, anyways. So, like I said, guys, we're just going to drive around for a second until we find ourselves a nice little spot to park. Once we got our little parking spot here, um,. Flying a drone, showing you guys some pretty nice visuals of Lake George. Hopefully, making a U-turn. All right, so I flew for like 30 seconds, if that. I don't even know. But anyways, I'm here in Lake George right now, and I it's just way too windy. The flag up here is going bonkers. You can hear it banging against the, the flagpole here. It's just too damn windy. And, that, and not even just that, it's pretty damn dark out right now. And I'm not a huge fan of flying in the dark. Although you think that I would be, because you could see the drone even better because of the ambient lights that are flickering with it. But anyways, 
Let me show you guys what we're working with here. That's the Phantom 4 Pro. And this is what it's called. Uh, uh, low profile backpack or whatever by Drone Guard. BP400 is the number of that for anybody who cares, all my geeky tech friends. Uh, we have three batteries and we have a huge charging bank. I left the charger at home, surprisingly. I actually forgot the charger there. That's supposed to be for like your cell phone or a tablet or anything that you can fit fancy in there. But I have, I have my uh, tablet in the back of the drone instead, like in the back of the backpack here. I have my blades in here with a USB reader there, guys. So when you shut this right here, it's this little pad, that little pad right there sits right in the middle of the bird, holds it down into place real nicely. Um, as for a tablet, I have just the uh, Insignia 10 inch tablet. It works okay. Not a huge fan of it, but it does get the job done for us. Hang on. Okay. And I have a really cool selfie stick that I'm impressed with because it's strong. And I'm holding, I'm holding you guys right now with a freaking DSLR. So, what does that tell you? <laughs> like, this thing is sturdy as hell. It's holding my Nikon D5500. With, I just, right now, I'm just through a fact that the uh, stock lens, it's pretty nice, it's pretty cool. So, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but that's the Minnehaha coming in and it plays music and like these little steam pipes come through. It's really freaking cool. Uh, but anyways, I don't know if I should end the video now. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm going to do because uh, if anything, I'm just going to walk around Lake George a little bit. You guys have all seen Lake George before in my other videos, car show, America, bike week, and all that jazz. So I'm going to throw my 300 lens on and I'll zoom out to you guys. And I'm going to end the video with you guys being able to watch the, the boat coming in. So, all right, guys. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe my video if you like this video. Uh, it definitely helps me out a lot. And I appreciate everybody, every single one of my subscribers. I can't believe we busted over 1,500 subscribers already. I must be having good content. I don't know. But... I really, really appreciate you guys. Every single one of you make a big impact on me. I love the comments, the community, everything. So anyways, guys, I'm Sean, Hyrule 1969 I'm out. Thank you for watching. Peace. Love you. What a damn good driver. He came in a little freaking hot. He's in the stop. Just perfect.